Dijon was a 14-year-old black boy that was chased by a lynch mob and knifed to death. And today we hear that the young man found culpable of for his death will serve physically less than three years in prison. Clearly, the family are upset. And clearly, this does say, this great city Birmingham that says black lives matter, black lives just do not matter. A jury that was not balanced in terms of the ethnic makeup of Birmingham found these people not guilty of murder. In addition to that, this jury, we had no way of challenging them. Also as well, Dijon being referred to as a nigger, a black bastard, bang him out. His civil rights completely abused. We have been told that we have no recourse to deal with that. And this is where this government has to change the law. Dijon's death must not be in vain. And trust me, it will not be. We, as a campaign that we will be launching shortly, the Justice for Dijon Reid campaign, has a lot of work to do. And clearly, what this trial has done, it's raised more questions than answers. And it also bears a question of what type of adults have we got in our society that can gear young children and groom them into committing acts of violence of this nature for where today this woman beside me, Joan Morris, can only now wait until she dies to have a reunion with her handsome, beautiful son, D. John Reed. Thank you very much.